Recognized, Emily of Arden, D, 1, 2. Recognized, Uncle Walker, D, 0, 1. Recognized, Joe Moniak, D, 0, 5. Initiate Intel Update. Hello team, producer Neil here. And on this Intel update, it's short, it's sweet, and then it's an hour of bloopers that I hope you enjoy. But we're letting you know that we are taking a mid-season break from our normal episodes, breaking down each and every episode of season four. But that doesn't mean there will be nothing. As I said, there's going to be an hour of bloopers. What's mind-blowing is that it's bloopers from simply the first half of this past season. So I can only hope that there will be an hour more when we're at the tail end of the season. But I had the absolute pleasure of sharing the same physical space as both Rich and Emily over the past week. And so um, we have renewed our connection once again, and we'll definitely be working on some other things during the hiatus, making sure that we have the backlog that we need so that editing and everything can get done as is needed. Um, so keep an eye out here, keep an eye out on Patreon, on our Discord, on social media, wherever you can find us. And with that, I will let you into the absolute and utter chaos that is behind the scenes that is the blooper reel. Initiate blooper reel. Rich, you good? You ready? Yes. <laughs> okay. I sit was that con- was that I was that convinced. unconvincing? I that was a little convinced. unconvincing. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just reading something, reading a text. Just one second. You're all good. Then you're not ready. Then we wait. I'm not ready. I need a second. <laughs> you guys are. Okay. Just wanted to say, uh, Neil, I forgot to say this before because we were talking about everything else. I just want to say that I feel like uh, the Intel update should open with my favorite running joke clip from the show of September, what happened to March. Yes. Keep lining up. Yes. <laughs> for, for, I we never plan for our hiatuses to run exactly up until September. Do they keep happening? Yes. Does it mean we get to do this joke again? Yes. Perfect. We've been doing this good joke meme. for like three years. Mm-hmm. Yep, but it's a good meme. People outside of the Young Justice fandom were sharing this screenshot at one point a couple of years ago because time was so weird. Yeah. Um, amazing. Red 5 standing by. What? <laughs> Star Wars reference. Um, Red 5 standing by. I don't want to mess her up. I want to say things, but I don't want to. I know. Bar, I'm trying not by. to. Bomb. Big Red <laughs> standing by. And it's a picture of the piece of gum. It was a family guy skit. Continue. Everybody's saying words. And none this of first know. line's yours, Emily. I know. I'm old. Okay. Okay. It's usually it's me. So I'm not patient waiting. I guess. Where we been? What's happening? Where we're at? This is why the outlines. What comes next? Etc. But before that, you guys want to say something for real? (laughs) And we'll put that in the Uh, bloopers. You put an you put an outline in front of us, and apparently we just read what's written down. I just do what I'm told. I do what I'm told. (laughs) Hey everyone! Hi guys. (laughs) <laughs> I can't do non-outlines. I don't know what the problem is with me today. Okay. No, you're fine. I'm also just trying to keep up. All right. Yeah, it's fun, fun fact. This is how Neil does the other podcast all the time. Just <laughs> outlines, outlines are useless. The wild wo- yep. <laughs> That's no, I don't like that. That's what I told <laughs> Caleb. No, we're having an outline. We're end. getting a basic framework with, with pads in the gutters. To keep me on track. Okay. Otherwise, it's total chaos. I've got you. <laughs> did, did, was that actual recording? Mm-hmm. Is that actually it? Okay. Oh, where we've been? What was the questions yeah. again? Where you've been, what's been happening, and where you're at currently. Those could all be nice. very different. Great. Ah, right. Why, thanks, Neil. No, don't put that in. <laughs> um, where we've what been? What are we doing? I don't know. I'm all over the place today. I had a question, Emily. Have you have you been on any other shows, like guesting on any other shows in the last couple of years? Um, yeah, that's what I have to. Uh, I was saying, it's more than just the one you mentioned. I was, Is it more than the one I mentioned? I thought I uh, let let me trail off, and we'll cut this out as Emily pulls up her list on Spotify that is just other things I've been on. 
Oh, yeah. I was on Kill Every Monster in between this and the last. No? Yes? Yeah, it should be. Yeah. I don't know how much time has passed. So the last Intel update was... Weren't you also, weren't you also nominated? July 9th. For an Audioverse Award as well. So July oh, I 9th, was. Yeah, thank you. So July 9th, 2022 was the last, uh, was Intel update 22, uh, where we said hilarious things like brief hiatus. We don't have to talk about that. We um, took a hiatus for the summer. We never said which summer. <laughs> brief. In, in the grand scheme uh, of things, brief. Yeah, I'll, I can let me answer Rich's question by mentioning Kill Every Monster and Team Up Moves. And do I have any voice actor to stuff that I did since then? Probably. Oh, yeah, I'm on Electromancy now. Uh, I can say all of those things. Hey, Rich, you want to ask your question again so I can answer and not <laughs> forget what I've done in the past year? Sure, Oops. yeah. Well, um, when SAG AFTRA went on strike, we lost Rich to the void. <laughs> I'll just keep going. Just keep going. Says, lost my internet back ASAP, That's says fine. Rich in a text. Someone, someone cut the string. I'm just strip. opening that so it doesn't beep again. Yeah, there we go. The, he's already back. But someone cut the strings on his And cans. Rich is back. And if you were... But, 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 and of course, I changed what I was going to say, and then I can't read the rest of what I said. Okay. Yep. Yeah. All right. <sighs> Let's do this thing. Let's record a podcast on Independence Day because the universe lined up in such a way that we're accidentally doing thematically appropriate recording date. Yeah. Yeah. Happy anniversary of Superboy the... seeing the moon. <laughs> that's what she did. Unscheduled that's, hiatus that's, as well. That, yeah. That's the Intel update. Well, we, we had planned to do it on July 4th, but like we, we missed last year. So we're like, well, 12 months later, here we are. No, too late. This was entirely go. intentional on everybody's yeah. part. <laughs> Podcasting. <laughs> We're so good. At there we this go. Thing. Nice. Okay. Wait. I can't. It's I terrible. Can't Aqualad's face is cut. I don't do this. Oh, it's and the same like, problem, Neil. <laughs> yeah, I had to. I had to cut. I had to adjust it. And I like how he's like. Yeah, to crop it. For, yeah, he's like reaching out for your shoulder. I hey, can't. Rich. I'm not oh, replacing. He's background. like. Sne- he's like. A, he's like sneaking up on me. It's very unnerving. I'm replacing my background would take effort and time and bandwidth, so just ooh poster. Luckily, yeah, I hoping to have poster. edit. It's weird <laughs> that you can't just like. Thank you. He is. We're having the same conversation twice now because I did the same thing. I was like, "What do you just can't edit it after you put it on there?" Because it's not. Mm, no, you cannot. You can't just drag it down. You cannot. Nope. Okay. I don't even I don't even know how to edit this stupid thing, so it's perfect. Okay. I guess. I'm gonna figure that out later. Cool. All right. Nice. Sorry, that was priority business right there. It was important. It's everything else of the wow, I don't know how I said everything else wrong, but I did. Uh <laughs> we're good at podcasting. We definitely didn't take an unplanned I Okay. <laughs> <laughs> there hasn't been a hiatus. It's fine. Neil, stop dancing. <laughs> I'm ready. There is no hiatus in, in Bossing Say. Hey, everyone. There's no hiatus in Bossing Say. <laughs> <laughs> we needed an avatar reference for sure. Now, when I say, hey, Neil, hey, Neil, edit that out, you're going to actually be here for that. <laughs> yeah, but then I have to listen to it later and it'll bother me then. <laughs> <laughs> and with that, let's hand it over to Emily. For how for, sorry, I'm gonna do that <laughs> no, all again. I don't remember how to podcast. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. <laughs> and with that, let's hand it over to Emily for. Hello, Megan. This has got both our names on it. Because I wasn't sure who do wanted it? to do this just, one, so I was going to let you two just fight go back it and out. Forth. Go. All right, we'll go back and forth. Special guest, is... just in time. Time for the next question. Yes, we both did it. <laughs> We're gonna have enough bloopers for a whole season from just episode one. Oh, absolutely. I okay, let's so. see if I can remember what I wrote here or if I will stumble over everything. Well, we have, oh, I'm moving this. There's no way I can read it on that screen and have my microphone in front of me. When we then head over to... I didn't get that. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm sorry, <laughs> Siri. Sorry, I'm Siri. My bad. <clears throat> meanwhile, meanwhile. <clears throat> Try that again.
Meanwhile, several things happen at once. The Zeta Tube project is set to go forward only for, do we did it? Do it again. Res. Re, re, res. Res. Edda. Yeah. Res. Yeah. Just res. Edda. Okay. Is there any more in here? Okay. Queen. Now I'm going to make me do it. <laughs> no, just, just say, say the, the queen. queen. The queen is able to. <laughs> just say the queen. Sounds like God save the queen. Um, queen. Queen. Queen is able. The band? <laughs> Our earlier segments assume readers have only seen up to this episode in season four, but in Crashing the Mode, we will discuss and we'll say words better. You might want to go go all the way back because um, assume readers. I Did I say readers? I've been working yeah, I sure did. my job. Oh, I know. <laughs> totally. Our earlier... Our words. Okay. <laughs> That's amazing. No, I remember there was many years ago, there was a video that no longer exists on YouTube from a YouTuber who did weekly Young Justice reviews and stuff. It was very big back in the day of early season one Young Justice fandom. But she and her friends once made a video called Young Justice Fans Say. They were a bunch of girls in college who made this video. And I distinctly remember one of them was just like slamming her laptop, turning to someone and just going, Wikipedia says Robin's leaving the team. Okay. It was that. There was also, um, I don't care how old I am, mom. I have to get to McDonald's. <laughs> they have the Young <laughs> Justice toys. Because <laughs> there was that one. Yes. Month. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I don't care how old I am. McDonald's has... <laughs> Young Justice Happy Meal toys. The infamous Happy Meal toys that included oh. Batman and Black Manta instead of any of the female characters. Oh, that's right. Oh. Yikes. Um, <laughs> Wikipedia says Robin's leaving the team. <laughs> like, oh, I remember me and my friends loved that video and I can't remember what some of them were. Some of them were truly incomprehensible like now. like I don't oh, remember yeah. what they were, but I'm like, some of these jokes fully would not make sense to a now Young Justice fan because they were so based in like, I think one of them was just saying, why does the Joker look like Justin Bieber? And I don't remember why that was a thing, but there was like an ongoing fandom joke that the season one like <laughs> design for the Joker like got compared to Justin Bieber repeatedly in random things. And I don't remember why. It might have fully been a joke that like one person made huh. and everyone said, even though it didn't make sense. Well, he has like a wallet chain, and it's probably the most weird, like, aesthetic design for any of those characters out of season one. It, yeah, like a, ch a chain for his wallet. And I was like, why? What is that? It was that stuff. It was some shipping stuff. There was some just calling out of some of, like, the random stuff that Robin says. I'm trying to remember if there was anything else that was weird and exactly like the stuff that was. I think there were a couple that were like, when the heck is the next episode and things like that? Like, oh, we're on hiatus again? <laughs> 27 kids is too many. Yes. That's what I had to say. 27 kids is too many. Okay. All right. 28. Sorry. My fault. 28. Also too many. <laughs> okay. Doesn't get better with one more. Making it even. I don't know if that helps. It's still 14 pairs. I just don't. I don't Teen know. star Justin Bieber proves a joker as he makes a date. He made it like his appearance in like 2010. And he totally has like the exact same haircut as the joker. And that's definitely where it came from. Thank you, Neil. Thank you for finding me internet that. proof that that very hyper specific early 2010s young uh -huh. justice joke is not yep. a fever dream. Thank you. No, it literally I saw like a bunch of like the hair was there and it's just colored the right color and then they put the makeup on him yeah yada, yada. thank you so, hi rich rich we are you, in, you were doing uh, real life and me and neil were having a discussion of early young justice <laughs> memes with bieber yeah. the joker yeah. looks like justin bieber we're in crash in the mode emily what do you have so garfield sure is having a time oh wait did we are we, we did, did we, do the we intro? did it while yep. you were while you were parenting we were trying to save you time and energy because yeah. you're pros we know nice. what we're doing. We didn't take a year off right, by cool. accident. We're fine. That's fine. Well, Legion. I Before got we Legion get to stuff. Legion, I want to get, you got, you got I stuff, get to my last little thing and then we'll get, jump into the Legion. <laughs> into my oh, yeah. blooper note that's just as somebody else talk about the Legionnaires and Lord's Odd and such. Please and thank you. Because <laughs> I was like, there's stuff to talk about. I don't what know what any of it is. Uh, 
for the bloopers. And remember, stay well. Stay well, everyone. Fix everyone. that in post. Hey, Neil. Yep. You know we should do we should do the thing that Dylan and Aram ended up doing, which is they all just they just said what they say separately, and then Aram put it together, made a clip, and dumped it at the end. Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> Otherwise, if we all three say that, it's going to be a train wreck every time. <laughs> But it's a fun train wreck every time. It is. Yeah, where are we going to get more bloopers if we're not trying to do that thing that's nigh impossible? This is Rich, and I am now recording. This is Emily, and I am now recording. This is Neil. F off, future Neil. Have fun. This is Neil doesn't like when you say stuff like that. That made me uncomfortable this in the is... moment. <laughs> I didn't like that one at all. Don't talk to my producer like <laughs> that, Neil. Yeah, He's seriously. He already, he already edited do. the first part of the episode because I was like, you know what? I should just do this right now or I'm not going to figure this out. <laughs> and so I so the whole like like first 10 minutes is already done because I was like, I don't remember any of this. I don't know what I don't have. I don't know what I do have. Now, you know, we're already at, okay. on our way. <laughs> Great. All right. Where are we at? There we are. I'm first. <laughs> and Rich has a different mic now, so we can just lounge back in a I like chair it. to record a podcast. Wow. Me- we are messing up. <laughs> I got I got my feet and up. the phone is ringing. Why? I have to take this giant thing, and I can't. It'll uh... go away. <laughs> you ready, Emily? You good? I'm going to give it one second, because the phone is loud. And I, if I can hear it okay. all the way in my room. I don't, I don't hear it. I don't hear it. I don't hear it. I think anything. sometimes Zoom filters some things because oh, I've definitely had it go off when I record voice acting stuff and then listen back and go, why can I hear a phone in the background? That's true. So give me one second. That's true. It's also why I, I Okay, it's done. I changed my personal settings to for this exact reason because it over it overdoes it, which makes great for conversation, really, really bad for editing later. Now you know. We're good. Okay, we're good. Okay. We're all set. All Let's right. go. And it just says, oh, because we edited all these that's in funny. the first one and not in the second one. But that's rich. That's fun. I'm a, ho- I'm a host. I'm a host. Now it's rich. Nice. And this one is now rich. And with all that out of the way, let's hand it over to Emily for. You want me to do that again? Let's do that again. <laughs> Zara Fuzzle as Holja Jarlia Jax. Oh, come on. <laughs> Well, how do we say the second one? Ciara Smith. Ciara Smith. Oh, man. Ciara Smith. Ciara Smith. Yeah. You can try again. Try it again. Ja'arlia. Neil, cut all that. Ja'arlia. No, Neil, leave it in. (laughs) Reckless. Hinden Walsh as Emery Emery Jones and Perdita Vladek. Oh, man. Vladek. It's it's John's. John. I think. Oh. And Vladek. Oh, good. Anybody want to tell me what the marriage ceremony is? The Mahayavahana <laughs> ceremony? Uh huh. Yeah, that's that one. The one. <laughs> Put oh. as many apostrophes in as possible. Martians the, are just the elves. Over, uh, the over under on me just splicing in <laughs> Emily saying it anytime you or I say it is <laughs> re- re- really high right now. <laughs> I'm just saying. War world. <laughs> I did not realize that Kari did the voice of both Phantom Girl and Saturn Girl. Yep. That's cool. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it ended up in the blooper reel or if it was all off screen when we did the the scream some things, but the number of times that we edited things on the fly so Neil didn't have to say Ma'ayava Ana. (laughs) Oh yeah, we was changed so it. many. I rewrote part of the episode as we were doing it. wedding ceremony, <laughs> but it's what not is... the wedding ceremony. It's a separate I pre-marriage know. ritual. It's important, Neil. <laughs> it the different. things I will learn how to say for my ships. Okay, Prince Jim. See, some of them do, and some of them don't. They don't say Jim, right? Or do they? they? No, they say Jim. Gosh, Jim. Like. It's weird. Do they jam? No, yeah. like they. It's Prince. just fast. Yeah, I don't know. Jam, jam. Perfect. <laughs> I would like to say thanks for not giving me. I think any of these words this week. <laughs> that I don't think I have a single one. That wasn't intentional, but 
You're welcome. Because what was intentional was Cheers. giving me the next paragraph so that I could say my Ayava Anna Ooh. because Neil can't. <laughs> <laughs> that was the no. only intentional bit of how I split this one up. <laughs> <laughs> well, the queen decides they'll have more experience in the kind of, in this kind of something, in this. What did I write this sentence? Hello, Emily and the art of packing everything that happens in a five minute scene into one sentence so that we're not here for 12 hours. <sighs> Perfectly crushing Ma'ava on a thing. But not saying crime solving. Words? No. <laughs> crime solving. I don't know how to speak English. Cre- I know how to speak Marcus. Creme. It's priorities. Creme. <laughs> Back at the Creme. Ro- <laughs> Back- you're fine. I need to pull it together. And that during the commotion, Marsh. Hold on. Let's try that again. Marsh and Maor is. <laughs> okay, here we go. And that, and that during the commotion, Miss Martian picked up on the unknown. Sorry, I'm laughing too much. Let me try this again. Oh, no. We like hanging out with each other. It's a problem. It leads to bad podcast audio <laughs> and we problem. just have to read okay. things. And that during the commotion, Miss Martian. Picked up on, <laughs> wow, now my eyes are crossing. War World. <laughs> Neil, cut this pause out. No, leave it. <laughs> have you guys Have you guys watched Strange New Worlds, the new Star no. Trek? Oh my God, it's so good. And um, this isn't a spoiler, but there's this, apparently when new ensigns come on the Enterprise, they do something called Enterprise Bingo, <laughs> where, they, where nice. they, try to do, they try to do random stupid stuff. <laughs> on the enterprise without getting caught and one of the things is one of the things is test things in the transporter and and so like in one episode uh, one of the officers is chewing gum until there's no flavor left and then gets transported away and transported back in and the and the flavor comes back <laughs> because the buffers recorded whatever that's supposed to taste like so it puts it back together with the flavor back in it just reminds you what you're talking about. Like, we're just going to do stupid crap to figure out what our superpowers can do. I'm, st- I'm still of the mind that Star Trek transporters are prestige <laughs> set up. Are prestige mechanics? Oh, yeah. oh, they're, yeah. they're all oh, going to yeah. the Mary universe. <laughs> oh, they're, something, something's happening. Some prestige <laughs> type event happens cool. every single time. That would be quite the plot line. That that would take the uh, oh by the way when we go warp nine we're destroying the universe we should probably slow down kind of storylines to a whole new level of horror. <laughs> anyway, we are so off yes. topic right now. This is Emily, and I am now recording. But first, I'm gonna <laughs> this... close my air conditioning vent. Are we recording? Mm-hmm. We never stopped. Are, are we Zoom recording? Yeah, I didn't. We never stop stopped I didn't Zoom risk recording. It. I don't want to risk it. Oh, we never stopped. Oh, great! This is so all that can... dead air. Oh great. yeah. Wonderful. So Neil can Great. just cut out those 20 minutes of discussing British television. <laughs> and me fixing a chainsaw. All and, right. And only leaving we this go. bit where we say what we talked about, but none of the context for it. <laughs> That's how you podcast. Zero Fuzzle as say, Well, I don't remember from last time. This is the one I had the most trouble with. <laughs> see our S- <laughs> uh, Kari <laughs> Sorry. I was like, wait, there's more? Oh, I forgot. I looked away. Kari Walgren as Jan Moores. Tinya Wazo. Sorry, Tinya. Sorry. Let me do that again. Kari Walgren as Jan Moores. <laughs> I grew up with these names. Right? Oh, my gosh. All the all the Legion people are like, wait, why can't you get in? All right. King Saturn's Merton. M- 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 I tried <laughs> to put a few, pe- few apostrophes into the word murder. Murder. Okay. Later, murder. Saturn to murder. Later, <laughs> you know, it just occurred to me. Uh, never mind. I'll get into that later. And Particularly in Atlantis, because that could, stuff. Well, like, uh, yeah, and I think they even touch on it a little bit in Atlantis stuff too. Like, the, it's yes, the same thing. It's just not like. Yes. Yeah, calm down over there, Rich. Wait, sorry. Is this crashing the mode for the future of this season? Yeah. Yes, we haven't done Atlantis, and we haven't seen Lagan's polycule oh. marriage yet. <laughs> Sorry, I was thinking that it got touched on in the comics or part of last season, Mm-mm. but no. All right. No. <laughs> well, yep. Hey, future Neil, cut this out. Okay. I'm skipping over that note because that note is just to make me laugh uh, about referring to baby Bioship by her full legal given name. Yes. Uh, uh, 
<laughs> I did that earlier. You actually wrote baby in the outline, and I was like, I'm not doing that. It's like I know that baby that's Bioshock, her canonical that's name, name, but it's more fun to say the whole thing. She has a first and last <laughs> it name. Really um, is. Agreed. But uh, <laughs> moving back to actual notes. I'm just I I'm failing to make a good segue, so I'm just going to read what I wrote because I wrote this months ago for this purpose, so that I just read it, and then I felt like I needed to say something else because I'm failing. <laughs> just read. Yep. Let me just look up something real quick. If I can have enough internet without killing, <laughs> we'll find uh, out. Will he crash? Will he not? There you go. What does that say? Boil water. Notice. <laughs> Back to that. <laughs> Jeez. Luckily, it's not our road, but it's real close. We get these like every week. Wow. Like the infrastructure out here is just, it's <laughs> the just The water is broken. Shocking. The scorpions exist. Everything is too hot. The electrical grid goes down no matter what the weather is. And Rich is having a time. <laughs> Feel free to cut that yeah. if that's too much information about what state Rich is. They're not even. A- there are not even enough satellites in the sky to cover, to have anyone care about my area at all. I can't even get satellites. <laughs> no one needs, no one needs satellite there. It's just cows. Cows don't need satellite internet. Anyway, no. none of that needs to go into the bloopers. Needs by to. the way. I think Emily's dead. I killed Emily. <laughs> we haven't even started yet. Good You're the one that's you supposed just, to start. We go. Rich out here saying the most ridiculous things and then saying, let's just start. Okay. Rich, you're the one that starts it. I'm fine. <laughs> yeah. Rich will go on a... T- I'm starting it? Rich will go on a... T- do yeah, you do. <laughs> Who talks first? Do I talk you first? You talk first. Okay. We're very good at this. <laughs> I don't know where that came from. I've never talked first. I don't know what that... Okay, wait. Here we go. <laughs> Hello, team. Welcome back, and thanks for joining us for episode... That is not No, three. it's episode four. I've changed... Here we go. One more time. We're so good at podcasting. <laughs> we can count numbers. Do, do, do. The title of this week's episode is... <laughs> is Rich doing the little Hello Megan dance? Um, amazing. Incredible. Special guest voice credits this week are D Bad. Hey, welcome to the club. D Badly. D Badly. <laughs> D Badly Breaker. No, That's about what I no, said. D Goodly. No, this is dumb. <laughs> this is a dumb joke. The queen agrees with her son, and I don't know where I'm looking in this paragraph. And so I'm going to start that over because I fully lost track of what I was reading. Never break stride. <laughs> The noise, as well as the psychic presence of the... You okay over there, Rich? No. I'm having to get comfortable. (laughs) Because now I have to look way closer without my glasses on. You're all good. I was just seeing you like falling out of frame over and over again. And I'm like, is Rich okay? (laughs) Who needed to be stable on that Friday morning? (laughs) That Thursday morning? No, Friday morning. Let me go through as as many dates as possible. All right. Can Canary debrief ideas on this one? Neil, don't you have a Canary debrief that you've had for the three episodes and now it finally makes sense to talk about? <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, detective work. Mystery something. Something. Oh, mystery that was the, solving. the mystery one. Yeah, because, I mean, especially with this episode. Something, something, resolving mystery, something, something, <sighs> red herrings, something, something. Yeah. I mean, r- as long as Rich is willing to help, because I definitely don't know I've done a whole Canary debrief. You just start um, saying words and trying to sound smart. <laughs> done. I can that's do that. Liter- it's literally all I do. Perfect. On today's Canary Bre- Debrief. I can't even say Debrief. I believe in you. Son of a- if you'd like to join us in discussing this incredible series, you can find us on Twitter at the YJ Files, on Tumblr at. Of, wait, am I doing it this these time? Things. On none, none of these places, things. Because we forgot to update the thing. But also, didn't Neil say that we were just doing something else now? Oh, yeah. Why are we doing that? We're not doing that. Yeah. Well, then. We we'll don't great. We're not doing we'll this. Just... Oh, and all that. With all that, we can have Neil do work. Uh, the only thing I said we is unless, the... unless we just want to botch it, stay whelmed again. No, it's we got to just... do that or I got to close. Otherwise, the episode's it's... not closed to me and it's still hanging. Yep. Yeah. That's how we. <laughs> yeah, that's what I meant. Stay whelmed, everyone. Stay whelmed, everyone. Stay whelmed, everyone. I was going to turn my camera off. As you're going to say, and remember, and then I was just going to hang up, and then there would be no response, and then you'd 
have that jamming in your head because I'm rude. Anyway, thank you. That helps me a lot. Stay well, everyone. I'm good to go now. Rich, it's all you when you're ready. Oh, you're waiting for me? <laughs> you do have the first one. Were you really? Yeah, you have the first one. Sorry, I thought Emily was looking something up. No, nope. I was just... I, For some my... reason, I thought Emily was looking something. You're all good. Here we go. Does that sound right? I mean, it sounds right. It depends on the level of confidence in which you say it, but... <laughs> yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll look, look it up. up. I have slightly better than tin cans at the moment. Time for your next mission. Just a time for your next mission. There it is. Okay, got it. It's Thanks. Amazing. One of us had to, I guess. Huh? Overlapping Batman impressions. Canary Debrief feels like it's got to be something on <laughs> using literature as references. I, the other one I put is uh, diegetic music. What's diegetic music? I don't know what that is. So diegetic music is when she gets into the car and she's listening to it. And it's actually her listening to it. Because then when she gets there, uh, clearly she has an old... This is super side note. Clearly she has an older car because she turns the car off and the music turns off. Any modern car, it's when you would open the door. But the <laughs> but basically as soon as she turns That's the car off... That's a thing? Off, what? Yeah, so if I so if I park my truck and I turn the truck off, the music will continue to play until I open the door. Same. But on older cars, it was just when you turned the key off, unless you rolled it into accessory. I have never checked that on my car. Yeah, that's yeah. funny. Okay. You just, so that's it, a, yeah. it probably your car probably does it, and you just don't notice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but You're I noticed it when it. she yeah. turned her car off. The music turned off, and then she opened the door. But yeah, so that diegetic be the is just debrief right there. Uh, so wait, what's the diegetic? <laughs> so diegetic music is music that the the characters are listening to, and we as the audience are both listening to at the same time. Non diegetic We're, music is the music in a score, and diegetic music is if a character is listening to the radio in a scene. Mm -hmm. is, the, uh, is the two sentence explanation from my film class? Yeah, yeah, and it could also be. I mean, diegetic music is like most of the '90s, early 2000s, where every like smaller name band is there physically playing in front of the characters, often in a coffee shop or random bar that they're always in, and oh, always yeah. showcasing these bands that are just there. So, so Neil like describes Buffy, Buffy the Vampire time, <laughs> exactly, and Smallville. Yeah. It was rather, and Smallville, it was, yeah. yeah, basically I, Buffy and Smallville coffee shop bar, yep. yeah. That Buffy Done. eventually yeah. had okay. a famous singer say, God, I hate playing vampire towns is still one of my favorite things. That's a awesome. that's a great line. Uh, I remember that. That was in season one, I think. No, one? It's, it's in Two? like, it's like, it's like five or six because it's a, a is fight. Is it really? Break, yeah, it's a fight breaks out between Spike and somebody else and somebody crumbles to dust and the music cuts and then they have one woman say, God, I hate playing vampire towns. And then they just keep going. And I'm like, this oh, that's funny. Raises so many questions. Oh, okay, <laughs> that's cool. Do welcome, that. That's welcome great. to the Canary Debrief. <laughs> I mean, the whole. I mean, we can do it because the whole point with the di diegetic music is it really does change the tone of the scene because those emotional, like literal emotional beats that we are having we know that the character is having and you start yeah. to think about those kind of things is was that a track that she is choosing to play when she gets into the car is it a track that just so happened to come on and she's having that deeper emotional response because it's there uh, there there's so many layers as yeah. soon as you, you should do that like, yeah that's, do we're that. already do doing want... it right now. Well, That's no, my point. we're just a jumbled mess. Do we want to no, start over? Because we yeah. just referenced no, yeah, Buffy, you should Smallville, do it. and seven other things that aren't about. No, you you should do it. Loopers. Neither now yeah. or later or whenever. But I oh, wouldn't we, do that. We could just do it now because I feel like we're yeah. we're in the we're in the moment. All right. <laughs> okay, everybody. I think that wraps it. So we will. I don't. I don't know what you're doing at the end. I can't even end. I don't know how to end anymore. You know what? I say, just say, we'll zay out of the watchtower, and then all of us can say the stay whelmed so that we're our brains aren't broken. Yep. Great. And with that, I think we can. Uh, I can't say it now. I'm out of practice. Uh, and with <laughs> with that, I think we can zay out of the watchtower. It's the thing. The thing that we quote in our house is from the Muppets Christmas Carol. Where there's a moment in that a beautiful piece of cinematography uh, where Gon Gonzo. It is. It's amazing. Um, there's a conversation that I like. always wish I could have as a t-shirt of some kind. It's Rizzo saying, should we be scared for the kids in the audience? And Gonzo just says, no, this is culture. 
<laughs> and like that's how I approach no. so much of this. Wow. Movie. I'm like, it's it's fine. Ooh. They'll figure it out. Ooh. It's getting kind of dark and spooky in here. Should we be scared for the kids in the audience? Nah, this is culture. Wow. Right. <laughs> on that it. note. Hello, team. Because you know. Welcome. If, ki- ki- if- <laughs> we just. Bam! <laughs> the abrupt. <laughs> She's like, and on that note, hello, oh, team. Oh, gosh. Here we go. Let's do this. Yep. Hello, team. Welcome. Let's go. <laughs> Take six. Are you going to say hello to the team? Meanwhile. Wait. Meanwhile, back at the back gate. What was I saying? Just time, time for your for next, next mission. mission. <laughs> there it is. What? We're oh, changing it. Oh, no. It's only been six years. This week's, yeah. Has I feel like it's longer. I don't know how long we've been doing this. Sometime. 2016, I think, is when we started recording. Does that sound right? Yeah. I think that's right. Yeah. Seven years. That's wild. Um, oh, yeah. I mean, <laughs> if you want to do math or, like, mm-hmm. add basic numbers. <laughs> oh, and to pull back from the endless march of time. I do <laughs> <laughs> so uh superboy's Hashtag. really not doing too well you mean well superboy is definitely not doing well. oh sorry i can't read my own notes let's try that again <laughs> put that in the blue for real no. uh, <laughs> he's having a rough time so too peace- though yeah super yeah. you're not wrong you're not wrong yeah. that's a true statement we'll get there yeah <laughs> Perfect. fun Both and because we questions. gotta talk about stuff or <laughs> that's right we wither wither and die all right you ready the thing about how Tinkerbell needs applause to survive. We need to talk to each other in depth about cartoons or <laughs> we fall over. We're good. All right. How are we doing? We all good? Yes. Yeah, excellent. <clears throat> you know, I have to tell you, rewatching season one, it's really weird hearing these lines that we pulled in the actual episodes. <laughs> It's weird now feel, to hear Canary right. say, stick around, class is in session. I'm like, why'd you steal that from us and just jam it into this episode? Because <laughs> that sounds weird. Just in time for your next mission. I'm like, that's just out of context, Batman. Anyway. That's what it sounds like. I just, it it's sounds, been a it while. It sounds very odd. It sounds, out, it's it does, out, of, it sounds right? out of place. It does. I've listened, I it had does. the same experience where it was just like, <laughs> wait, what? Oh, no, that's wait. fine. Oh, right. No, that's, no, 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 we that's the other way around the other way around the other way around, the the other way around. I, watched season one. <laughs> I don't remember this well it's been it, it has been a while since i watched season one but now i'm watching it with my kids all the way through so like we're doing a real hard quick a real speedy run through and so it's really really funny okay anyway just a time for your next mission let's do this for a total tonal shift this week's episode opens on mars where macomb's gathering of white martian extremists is interrupted by mcgann I forgot I wrote this too quickly. I wrote this outline. Nice. <laughs> Immediate loss. All right. Hey, yeah. I, I promise we're PG-13. I had it. I for- <laughs> I was typing these really <laughs> fast while I was watching. Them. I love that you're both catching what I wrote because I forgot I wrote it. Took me a it. second. I was, I, was um, like, I was like, no, that's not. that. You spelled that yeah, right. No, oh, well, the I next was scanning word. too fast. Oh, okay. I was like, what are you talking? I don't see what's, I see what's wrong here. Oh, there, I see it now. <laughs> well, I'm back to dark. Oh, f- did you see that? F- <laughs> I remember when I wrote this, I was like, I got to change that before we record the episode. And then I fully forgot that I wrote that and then got to this right. and was reading it and went, as was what? Can't say that. Can't say I'm that not even TV. sure that can go in the bloopers. Uh, <laughs> no. That's too bad. We should just send that to Greg. Anyway, let's try that again. This is a serious scene. Uh, we've created a monster. Okay. Back in the present, Oracle knocks out a little, 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 little Oracle. Yeah. Cool. That's a new one. Temporar- the temporar- little, temporarily, I can't talk. Or cake. The cake is a lie. Oh, that's true. That's probably true. The death or cake is an older lie. Is an older reference. <laughs> Yeah. Cake or good combo though <laughs> just cut out all of that all three of us referenced a different cake joke uh and we're fine oh yeah absolutely <laughs> that's totally true that's the thing that happens mine was yeah, I cake mine songs. was older huh <laughs> let's feel some master
and then have some cake. Nothing makes sense anymore. As well as plot elements from the original DC comic storyline that may have... No! A crash in the mode will... <laughs> no, Neil! This doesn't have wow. anything to do with... Do it. You this definitely a, do it. This is an audio medium, so no one can see the jokes Neil's making. Um... Uh, Neil's just added to our outline that do- uh, Dr. Jace did nothing wrong, even though that has nothing to do with the episode, Neil. Hey, those mother box. Our earlier segments <laughs> seem was- I can't even do it. War you World! <laughs> just <laughs> do all the bits, all the running jokes. All the bits. Why not friendship? <laughs> why uh, not friendship? Why not friendship? <laughs> all right. Our earlier, our earlier- segments... <laughs> Let's Let's kind of talk about the earlier segments. Let's talk about the earlier segments. Let's do the thing. Our earlier segments assume listeners, I can't even like swallow. And with that, I think we can say that out of the watchtower, but I don't have to say that anymore. And And remember, stay stay well, well, everyone. That was really close. Look at us. That was pretty close, except I said everybody instead of everyone, so I messed it up. It's fine. Anyway. I need to go check on my kids, make sure that nothing's on fire, and make a sandwich, and then I'll be back for the next one. Same. Not same, Good. but same. Kid? Um, kid? Do you have kids? No. Since last time? No. Okay, just checking. No. Double check. Just checking. Just checking. I wasn't going to make an assumption. Was I was asking a clarifying question. Okay, great. It's quick. All right. Any version, clarifying question. Any version of obtaining them. It's very fast. <laughs> no. <laughs> And cut out everything about my job. <laughs> I remember there's some, in one of the first blooper reels, there's a whole conversation between Caleb and I about what I'm eating for lunch. Sounds about right. 16 bloopers from episode one. Of this season? Nice. All right, let's do this. <clears throat> I'm going to need to see if we can wrap. Can we try and wrap by four? Four fifteen. Yeah. Maybe. We'll find out. All right. 415 is probably more doable than just four, but let's go. Let's find out. Hello, team. Welcome back, and thanks for joining us for episode eight of Wound... Oh, wait. Are we recording? Now I'm recording. I wasn't recording a second ago. You jumped in too fast. (laughs) Sorry. Are we recording? We're all good. Can can you hear me now? Yes. So Neil's finishing up his lunch. Rich is finishing up his lunch. Neil is doing something else. Emily's poorly narrating what everyone else is doing. Hopefully we're still recording. This week's episode opens with a throwback to season one, to Cheshire and Artemis's original character introductions, and it not their character in confrontation. I, I wrote this. Why am I bad at saying words sometimes? <laughs> track Cheshire. Track. Track Cheshire. I did this to myself. <laughs> track Treasure. You say it. That was a that was that was a trap you said yourself right there. Let's head to the mid roll. What a great mid roll. Let's head to Canary Debrief. We may also drop uh, theories, speculation, and wild flights of fancy that I can't read this last sentence, and I'll try it again. And we're going with this episode is pronounced odd on ondu. Ondu. Odd yeah. new. Odd new. Somebody typed this. I don't know if it was me or who, but I can't read. There we go. Oh, that, I was like, there, that it looks, is. there we go. That looks better. I know. As I said it, I was like, that wouldn't be undo backwards. Yeah. <laughs> I forgot that I have to say all of these titles for this arc. <laughs> it was a struggle the first time, and it'll be a struggle again. Mars Attacks. That's what I, this is the only thing that came with. Yeah. Whoa, I'm like, there, Maya Avaana. Yeah, the Mahayana. <laughs> the Mahayava Anna? You mean that that. totally easy? And Malika Andra? Yes, that. (laughs) This sounds like someone fell downstairs. Take Andu. Do it. Odnu. Odu. Udnu. Udna. It would be Udna, right? Neil, please explain your comment of it sounds like someone fell down the stairs. Like I was like having a discussion and like we were talking and then I fell down. And then like I needed help at the bottom for sure. (laughs) Okay, this is fine. So undo would be Udna. Udna. No, we can't do it that way. 
because you have you to can look at if it. you're pronouncing it backwards. I know, but you look you look at it as if it is. But a Zidana doesn't new pronounce word. stuff backwards. She reads yeah. stuff back. She pronounces things the way have they you? are written backwards. Have you seen that guy? We should say we should. You know what? We should. There's a video <laughs> of a guy who pronounces things backwards, and then you run it forward, and it's like spot on. Yeah, it's, it's and a he game goes through that people do. This guy is freakish, and he goes into like, yeah, you don't. You can't pronounce it the way you think you're pronouncing it backwards. Like you've got to yeah. pronounce the sounds backwards, which is very different. Um, yeah. It's amazing. Yeah. Anyway. You're all good. <laughs> this is fine. Okay. And now that we've established all of that. So like, I mean, ISIS shows up like <laughs> ISIS is a thing. So like spoilers, you're trying to take all of those. Well, she was back in second season. Oh, right? yeah. No, you're right. You're right. Yeah, so Cut second that season. out, because I'm spoilers for saying that that's spoilers. <laughs> <laughs> the, ir- the irony. Um, Sorry. Yeah. I look ridiculous in my Zoom thing because I have red eyeliner that is melting, and so from my view, it just looks like I'm crying blood right now. Perfect. Oh, I, I can't, I can't see any of that. It's, You're fine. I'm sorry. We're on. It's Clarion. Clarion did it. It's on. It's on brand for this episode. <laughs> on on Halloween. This this episode has made her so sad that she is crying blood. <laughs> I hate Vandal that much. I don't hate Vandal no, I, that much. I <laughs> I just have melting eyeliner that makes me look wild. Yeah. All right. Well, let's move on to the crashing the mode then, uh, or go to our mid roll, and then uh, we'll get to crashing the road. Cashing, cashing, cashing the, the road. road. Mm-hmm. That's a thing now. Yep. It's the new war world. I put up. A, <laughs> I put up a toll booth. I'm cashing the road. <laughs> cashing the road. Very nice. Well played. Well played. <laughs> All right. Well, let's move into our mid roll, and then uh, yeah, we got we got Halloween energy here. <laughs> we got Halloween energy today. Absolutely. Hey everyone. In these episodes, we'll be. Uh, I haven't said this in a long enough time. We'll be doing something. All of my words. We're just doing something. I always forget that Nolan North is Zatara. That's every single time I have seen that. It's wild to me. It's amazing. Don't even know if that needs to be in the episode. It just always goes. I always go, wait, what? And how many times have we done that? Anyway, just in time for your next mission. In another flashback, we learned that Vandal Savage wanted to sink Atlantis so that he could conquer the ocean. <laughs> I wrote that. I'm going to read this as written, and then I'm going to read it without it. Because I it's leave just so notes good. to amuse myself and then <laughs> forget that. There. In a flashback, we learned that Vandal Savage wanted to sink Atlantis so that he could conquer the ocean like a weirdo, <laughs> but his grandson Arian refused. Frickin' weirdo. Right. How about we'll try that again. <laughs> I'm tired of it. <laughs> Have to try to conquer the ocean like a weirdo. Leave the like ocean weirdo. alone. We're tired of it. He's just like, wait, wait, wait. I think I missed something. Oh, wait. Four fifths of the ocean is not land. I got this. I'm just going to send my people down. It'll be fine. Oh, to the I'll just make more. No. Back in the present, Phantom Stranger teleports the Magic Teens, a.k.a. the Magic Scouts. I'm saying Magic Scouts. How dare you take that from me? <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, Back in the present, Phantom Stranger teleports the Magic Scouts to the Sanctum Sanctum Sanctorum. No, nope. <laughs> that's a different universe's magic. Is. No, they call it a Sanctum Sanctorum. She yeah. calls it that, and I'm like, wait, that's Doctor Strange's thing. I she does call it that in another. It might be another comment. episode. Call it whatever I, you like, Neil. I'm just saying. It's, no, I you, caught that. You, so strange. You're all good, Doctor Strange. I think hey, I need well, some more caffeine. Well, now I'm super. If you're was it Scout yeah. or yeah. Sentinel? What's it? Didn't she? What did she they call? They totally call it that. Yep. Was it? Okay. Did she call them Sentinels? She calls them Sentinels in a later episode, but I forgot about later that episode. and have just been making up yeah. uh, random collective nouns for this group of magic one teenagers. <laughs> I've called them but Satana's Academy for you. Can't use that. The magic magic kids. I've called them the Magic Scouts. <laughs> we can't say it until they say it. That's that's how that works. <laughs> Um, I completely lost the magic uh, knots. Okay, go. but he proves less. <laughs> these are great notes. I love these notes. <laughs> um, That's what happens. But, that but it's not even Emily doing commentary. 
<laughs> That's just <laughs> literally what happens. I know. He threw a demon <laughs> at the problem <laughs> and he didn't do anything. He rolled he rolled a one. <laughs> these these episodes are just me hanging on for dear life trying to track what is happening in any given scene because everyone is mentioning 12 artifacts <laughs> i've never heard of and 37 backstory elements that are going over my head and i am desperately clinging to my magical teen squad hoping to understand what is unfolding before me why is this happening so I got STL files for really, really cool underwater ruins and stuff like that to I'm printing up for this kid's D and D game is like a preliminary for the cruise game. Yep. So I'm going to be printing up like ruins and a bunch of other stuff and painting them and bringing them for the game. I'm really yes. excited about it. Yeah. It's going to be cool. It's going to be really cool. Yeah. I'll fly this time. So I'm interested to see how much I convince myself to bring. Cause last time I had to like dial it back. Cause I like, I drove my truck to where the boat was and i just had to keep convincing what because it was i drove to la like i'm not gonna fly to la that's only, oh it was out of la last time. yeah so it's oh. only a three-hour drive so i have my my ram 1500 and so in my brain i'm just like i can bring everything and i'm like but you shouldn't you shouldn't <laughs> don't do it and i'm just like but i could because like they don't have they don't really have limits. They don't tell you like, oh, you can only bring so many pieces of luggage or anything like that. I mean, the biggest thing was like when I got there, I had a bo- like a cardboard box and the guy at the front like checking luggage was like, you shouldn't give me that. He's like, I'm not going to do anything to it, but I know what's going to happen to your luggage after I move it to the next place. He said, you should carry that with you wherever you're going to go. That's uh, been my big thing is figuring out like how much can I carry and what could I carry it in? Like I might need to get some cases mm-hmm. to carry the stuff in. I yeah. don't know. But <clears throat> anyway, I'm excited about getting that stuff done. Nice. All right. Ready? Yay. Games. Yeah. <coughs> For Neil is posing. A better choice would be to actually think about what audio clip to take when I'm doing the outline but I do not think about it at any point until literally I'm staring at it right now. And my thought was, I wonder what I should choose. Insider baseball for this here blooper. I just wait until you guys say something about one of the lines and then I go back and I take it and I put it back. No, that's the way to do it, clearly. Yeah. Yeah. Ha-ha. Absolutely. Ha ha. All right. Narrative cohesion. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Great. And 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 Emily nailed our uh canary debrief. Good job. <laughs> Wait! Oh no! <laughs> no. Um. Thanks for thanks for volunteering. <clears throat> All right. <laughs> All right. Hello, Megan. No, you have to. You have a line. I do. Yeah. Yeah. Where's my line? Oh, it says host. I see. <laughs> you were just who's, assuming that was that? someone else. Who's that? Like, That's generally rich. Yeah. Sorry, I forgot huh. to change it, I guess. I'm just like, Sorry, that's we what the says. We haven't been doing this very long, so I don't remember. <laughs> Low narrative Megan. cohesion. I would say the yeah. narrative the canary debrief. <laughs> that's what I was thinking too the whole time. Was the canary debrief. <laughs> we lost Emily. Oh. She just disappeared. Oh, it's just, I don't even know what that would mean. It's just too vague. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's 12 names that aren't names in this paragraph, um, and I'm going to mess up the word grandson yep sorry that's me i was trying to check something for later host um, and got distracted <laughs> host. no it does say my name i'm just i'm, I'm just bad for other reasons <laughs> no bad. no I'm stop fine. talking about my friend that way <laughs> i'm sorry i don't know what's wrong with me today i need to pull it together um, pull it together. i apparently need to go through a dr fate nightmare scenario and oh, okay. no yeah. no i've been through Cut all of this thanks so much though Future Neil, cut all of this. I apologize. While all... Yeah, nope. With all three... I should have stopped more than I did. Hold on. <laughs> <sighs> With all three heroes having worked together... Nope, they didn't. They worked alone. With all three heroes having worked <laughs> through their issues, they reappear in Fate's living room. That's just a funny statement, too. Despite... <laughs> Despite it's what it is, I, it is though. I didn't think about it. I don't know why he's a living yeah. room. He's like, oh, he doesn't live in it. That's why he was so frustrated that they showed up. Like, oh, geez, guys, you're leaving my he tower. He was trying to sit down to watch his nightly show. Yeah, 
whatever it right. is. It's you know, Jeopardy or whatever. It. Yep. Yeah. And he knows all the answers. <laughs> He's a total jerk. Um, <laughs> where? Despite the bloopers are wild this season. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What is happening? Gmail, stop it. <laughs> you have a puppet? You always try to get a puppet? That's the phone you. yelling that at is him. the opposite of silent from my phone. And there's a line that she says that I definitely did not catch until this rewatch, where Holland says... Well, well, that goes in Crashing the Mode. Oh, that would go in Crashing the Mode. So that's why. <laughs> no. I, f- I keep forgetting. Because the other one that'll go in Crashing the Mode um, is the number of people that have been Dr. Fate. Because don't we see an image of that? Am I misremembering? I'll put it in Crashing the There's Mode. only like six. It's, it's only the people who've they been sh- Dr. Fate from Kent Nelson on. In this yeah, they episode. only show us the ones period. that we've seen. For some reason, I thought there was an image at one point of everyone backwards. I wanted, I, I wanted think an, you're an thinking of the, Avatar. Yeah, I was like, I you think know, you're of, thinking of the shot from Avatar. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, we both, is that what you were going to say, Emily? Yeah. No, <laughs> I, that's in my the head. the same thing at the like, same time. Oh, okay, maybe. Yeah, because right. it's like the... Like yeah, thing with, uh, Avatar yeah. has the really iconic shot where they did yeah. design every single, like, Avatar up to, like, you can track it to, like, 20... So generations back oh, wow. of like seeing yeah. all of the avatars well, then, and then so, they eventually get blurry because they're too far yeah. away but you can well, like see all of them work. and i just realized that i never hit record on my audacity I so try. it's a good thing that we have a backup mm-hmm. me neither stop recording no <laughs> but one of the things is like during those i don't know n- do we call them Nabu nightmares? I don't know. Oh no! <laughs> yes, yes, I, we do. Okay, well, we those, do now. <laughs> um, I mean, so Nabu it, by night. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. Whoa. So those. So basically, we have Holland, um, who I was afraid of werewolf by night, but okay. <laughs> I don't know where your guys Nabu. went. Cut all that. That definitely gets out of our episode. Werewolf by night. Oh, there was the Marvel version. The black and white, and then they did the version in color, and I refused to watch it because I don't want to watch it because it was originally meant to be black and white. Whole thing. Don't ask. The Werewolf by Night? Yeah, they released they put it like a colorized version of it. On It'd Disney be Plus. funny if they went through and hand colorized it. That would have been really funny. Ooh. But no. I it. agree. Yeah. Yeah, then I would have been on board, but that's not what they did. That's not um, what happened. Anyway, what were you saying that meant something that mattered? Let's see. And then there is a green planet. Which is not Oa, and I'll cut that out because that's what I thought it was. But apparently, Oa's orange. Now that said, I have an additional photo. I also <laughs> cannot tell the color of. Okay, so so time out for color planets check. That's orange. Dang it! Why are so many planets <laughs> orange? Was that the question? Was yeah, this orange? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Question. Gotcha. So, but the other, this so is the other, just, I'm just imagining the, this is an audio format for listeners <laughs> in a blooper reel or wherever. Dang it! Long orange pause. again. That's orange. That planet is 100 percent orange now. But what? Uh, so the previous image, you sh- that other image you showed us with the not green but orange planet had a satellite over the top of it or something. That's from a previous episode mm-hmm. or a future oh, episode. Okay, that future was an episode, so that's why I didn't. Yeah, that's a future, so future that's episode. Oa. That's the prison thing above Oa, and then that second image was Rimbor. I was trying to find. So I was trying to find what green planet could possibly be. Um, wait, but oh, wait. So the so Oa isn't green. Oa is orange. No, Oa, Oa is orange. Yeah. So why couldn't it be orange? Why what? couldn't why couldn't the planet that they're flying toward be Oa? Because it's green. Because the planet that they're flying towards is green. <laughs> but the second image you showed. Neither oh. of those images that Neil showed us are the planet that they're flying toward. Oh. Oh, I see that happened. <laughs> I see where the I see where the confusion lies. I'm trying to find the planet by by finding it outside of the episode neil is trying to color compare other planets because he it. can't identify the shot that uh he actually has yeah you didn't take a you didn't take a screenshot of the bus flying at a planet no got it i understand now i will as i listen to them scream again could i have turned it off yes absolutely Did I, <laughs> have i heard the them inhale we, the things we think of in, 
in <laughs> retrospect, one of those screams I am convinced was Eric Lopez too. By the way, <laughs> I guarantee you they had everybody in the booth give <laughs> yeah. the sc- scream, <laughs> time, breath, scream. Absolutely. Here you go. Now the real question is whether or not they were all in the. Nope. So that's the planet they're flying. That's over. black. N- Neil, you realize that that's uh It won't let me share you it. Shame you can't. Black. You can't. Sc- yeah. Shameful. You can't screenshot or screen share from a from Max. Shameful. Or Disney, by the way. Yeah, oh. but or hopeless. Uh, you could maybe do it from. I believe you that it's a green I, planet, and I don't know enough green planets in DC. <laughs> okay, so O is not green. Is the surprise? Oh, it's orange. Yeah, and a lot of the other versions, it like it almost looks like the the lantern. Uh, this one doesn't, but yeah, it's orange, and so is Rimbor, and so all planets are orange. Yeah, apparently. All right. Uh, yeah, type it in, Neil. I was going to type it in. Go ahead. What? Oh. Uh, Narrative. What was it? I don't remember. That's why I didn't say narrative continuity. Yeah, narrative continuity. Narrative cohesion. No, it was no. 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 (laughs) Narrative co. That's not even on the right bullet point, Rich. Okay, well, hold on, because I'm going to put Emily. (laughs) No, you're not. (laughs) I'm going to. Hey, (laughs) who's doing that? Not me. Host. Host. <laughs> How can we do this on two different coasts and one in the middle live? I'm going to change this when you're not looking. Narrative consistency. No, narrative continuity. Okay, great. Looks like we have a fan service. Excellent. All right, let's do the thing. Ooh. Hello, team. Welcome back. And thanks for. Wait, are we on 11? We're on 12. We're on 12. Dang it. I usually try and fix this because. I get. Okay. It's Which the only thing it. I help with on the songs, and I didn't. I have one job. You provide opinions and thoughts. I do. I'm so glad you do these. These titles are nonsense. I was about to say how how we feel in this one's probably said. Og, do we got thoughts? Og, Ogtroff Dana Rek, Reknock. Yeah, the Reknock. Ogtroff Dana Reknock. Because mm-hmm. that one comes up um, some other places, so I can. I say the rec knock is with confidence. Okay. It's almost hard. That to, was the one that I was really questioning. It's almost hard <laughs> to pronounce them and not like intentionally like vocally make them backwards. Like when I start to say it, like I want almost wanted to sound like that. You, yeah, do it. Yeah, yeah. Yes, exactly. Can't do it. And we hear no words and stuff. And we hear Superman propose that the league needs to set up an organized superhero reserve system to deal with large scale threats like this one more effectively. Oh, like this one to more effectively deal with. Yeah, there should be a two in there, but yeah, sometimes you'd be typing. Be oh, no. I yeah. Don't. Let's see. To deal with the large scale threats like this one. To, oh, to deal with the large scale threats like this one. Oh, God. What did and I write? And to more effectively. No. Uh, no. no, no, you gotta. You, we got half of this. Got to go. Yeah, no. It Don't was all get I in there. I wrote, I'm out. Wrote this sentence. I'm going up here. Wait, <laughs> everybody, everybody, change it all at the same I time. I moved. I moved. I went higher up. I went two more grass up. I got scared. <laughs> Excuse me. I ran. I ran in the dun. I digitally ran away in the document. Okay, I fixed it. I think I wrote. I did that thing where you write the end of a sentence. Twice, oh, yeah. you know that common yeah, problem. Yeah, uh-huh. yeah. I love how we have three thousand miles between us, but we can all do- change the same document at the same time. We live in the future. I know. And we hear Superman proposed that the league just in time for your next mission. And it has been a week since I wrote this at night, and we will see how mm. incoherent it is. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> I'm already excited. <laughs> it's like it's a coin flip of whether it's something in here is a clever joke or absolute nonsense that 9 p.m. brain thought was funny or okay. both or both always a possibility i brought your favorite fast food there's a volcano there's a volcano in sydney and we'll get to that later that does not go into the bloopers because in retrospect that isn't something i would normally say not at all that doesn't go in the bloopers either all right <laughs> <laughs> Back There's on the so school bus. 
Knack in Salem. What? Yeah, oh Knack in Salem. <laughs> See, I told you. I don't know why spell check didn't realize that, but oh yeah, because that's spell check says that's legal. Yeah, you just but sometimes you grammar knack, check though. like will be like, did you mean? And it's like, yes, I did mean. Um, but this time it said, no, that makes sense. The f- the uh, oh, is that too many fatal. F's in a row? That yeah, it was created a problem. Final yeah. faded confrontation. Yeah, Do it. The, I like it. With <laughs> Rich is trying to snack. Whoa. <laughs> wow. We <laughs> wow. Can I have some more F's in the sentence? That'd be good. There's only there's a couple. I'm just They're gonna all add some. Out. I want to add some. With, with child, child fin- finally <laughs> fatally finished. <laughs> With child finally fatally finished and defeated. <laughs> 1920s radio <laughs> voice. With child finally defeated, Clarion leaves with Tickle. And in the aftermath of the battles, Zatanna proposes he an idea. Ha ta ta! News from the front. <laughs> that Naboo alternates host bodies between herself, Zatara, <laughs> Tracy, and Holly. Buy these cigarettes, they'll cure your cancer. <laughs> before- Our boys in blue are giving it all they've got out there, showing Hitler what's up. I do this voice too often for no reason. You know what's great? Is there's probably the a, there's gotta be a DC radio announcer that said something oh, yeah. about Dr. Fate back in the uh Meanwhile, the Justice Society, led by Dr. Fate, leads our boys at the front. Dr. Fate spotted over the Pacific Ocean, <laughs> fighting a giant monster that no one's ever seen before. <laughs> uh, so support the boys in red and blue, buy bonds, yeah. <laughs> We've become an entirely different podcast. We're just a mockery of ourselves. All right. Since you're going to refuse to let me do it in radio voice. While Naboo agrees to Zatara. <clears throat> are you telling me Zatanna ends. and Zatara's names are far I'm, too close I'm, together I'm, I'm and make saying, things difficult when they I'm appear saying, in the same sentence? I say we should do it all in 1920s radio. No. <laughs> Rich, I can't have this full conversation in my 1940s radio announcer voice. We all have one, which is what makes me so happy. <laughs> I do think that is the hilarious thing that you started it, and all of us were like, "Yes, I also have this voice in my back pocket at any given moment." Ready? <laughs> Bye, bonds. All right. <laughs> and it's a useless skill for me to have because no one hires women to do that voice. Oh, <laughs> that's true. Yeah. Yes, and it's annoying. Uh-huh. Yeah, I love doing this voice. It's not one of the ones that anyone would ever hire me for. Great voice. It's a great. Yeah. You've been listening to Whelmed, the Young Justice Files podcast. Our hosts are Rich Howard and Emily Booza. Our editor and producer is Neil Powell. Our theme was composed by Emily Mio. Our logo was created by Kevin Bates. Whelmed is a fan-made podcast and is not officially affiliated with DC Comics, DC Entertainment, Warner Brothers Animation, and any other owners of Young Justice or its related source material. As such, these companies have sole ownership of all symbols, images, names, logos, and proprietary material related to Young Justice. Original content of this podcast is ours under Creative Commons. Thanks for listening, and stay whelmed.